northern land. So you can see on the upper left side, we've removed everything except the cuspid and the two molar teeth. And um, we, removing a second molar can be a little difficult, as many of us have experienced, in that we have a, a tuberosity that oftentimes attaches to the tooth, and which can make extraction difficult. So Dr. Golden created a distal elevator that has kind of a unique shape to it. And what we want to do is we want to detach the tooth from the tuberosity. So I'm going to use quite a bit of force here to break down the tuberosity attachment to that tooth. And you can see I went, I went about that far down the tooth. So let's take our upper left traditional standard physics forcep. We can move that out. And let's take this second molar out if we can. Again, I'm using my left hand. Now, removing a maxillary tooth um, usually is not so much of a problem because the bone is medullary and relatively soft. So, um, and we'll demonstrate the lower later where the bone is tighter. But same thing, now I'm rotating my wrist kind of t towards the left ear. And I'm simply putting constant pressure, not squeezing my hand not squeezing, just rotating. And we all know we have three roots here. And you can see that tooth popped. Again, very badly decayed tooth. Um, so we have to be a little careful. But I want you, if we can demonstrate that on the video, that that tooth actually came out and up out of the socket. Taking my tooth delivery instrument and rotating, and we're able to remove that molar intact, maintaining that facial bone very nicely. Mm -hmm.